obviously the first few times I took him out, we went and we smashed the bottom fish. We had some really good days for whatever reason. You know, everything lined up perfect. We had the weather, tide was right, the conditions were good, and we had some fantastic bottom fishing. Unfortunately now, I think I've created a little bit of a monster. The tide's gonna change here pretty soon. It's already going out. I love catching tuna, love fishing offshore, but in recent years, I've kind of developed a, a new type of fishing that I love, and that's bottom fishing. When that tide starts to rip like that, I just feel like it's not the greatest, you know what I mean? I think the thing that I love most about bottom fishing is the unknown. You just never know what you're gonna pull up. But it, you feeling pecking at it already? I think I got one, Captain Russ. That didn't take long. Is that a mangy? It looks like a nice one. If it oh, is, it's rod. A... They're fun, aren't they? Oh, it's so, dude, these, these fish are a blast. That's not a mangy. I can't even Can't know. be, right? I don't think so. That's some kind of jack or something. It's not, doesn't fight, is it fighting like a jack, though? Maybe it's a mutton. Would be better than nothing. Nah, that's a jack or something. You think I'd be able to see him already? It's so clear. He ran off a good bit of line. I think you got like a little amberjack or something. I don't know. When I first started coming to the Keys, you know, in my head, I assumed that we were going to be fishing for bonefish, tarpon, and permit. It was the peck, like just like you described. I think somebody came in and, and pushed Stole everybody it. out of the way. Gotcha. Bullied everybody out of the way, you know. Looks very jack. -y. Looks jackish. As much as I know fishing, you no know guys around the world that fish, I had no idea what an amazing bottom fishery there is here in the Florida Keys. I feel like you've seen this show before. I'll get you warmed up. For sure. Pretty little jack. Been a while since I've seen one of these. That's a fun fight on that little spinner, huh? Oh man, that's all you want on that little rod. Wish it would have been a mangrove the way it was pulling. <laughs> uh, I think you'll find one. I'm gonna set this dude free. Go ahead. Later, buddy. The cool thing about bottom fishing is, is you're always moving. You're doing something, you know, you're changing baits, you're dropping down. And when I say bottom fishing, I'm talking shallower stuff, like we've been doing 50 to 150 feet. Stung one. one huh? I found one. You like the right one? It does. What do I know, though? I'm from California. Well, the take drag like the last one, it's, it's not, not the right one. It's <laughs> not. It's the right one. You're always engaged. You're always holding the rod in hand. Whereas with trolling offshore, I mean, you might take a nap, make a sandwich or whatever. The nap, the coloration looks like the right one. Now these are some good eating fish right here. Beautiful mangy. Hold on in, buddy. It's a pretty fish, man. They the are keys. cool. I like to be engaged. I like to be fishing. I like to feel that bite, you know, and bottom fishing gives me all of that. So we're going to start with these. Get you a few of these, and we're gonna move on to some grouper and muttons, hopefully. Did you say mutton? Yeah. How many different catch for we can go mutton fishing? You know, the Keys has so much to offer in the way of variety, but it really has a lot to offer in the way of bottom fishing. I mean, our bottom fishing is world class. Is that a snapper? It's a snapper, it's a good one. Looks like a big mangy. Nah, it's a little jack. And part of that reason is because we have the second largest living coral reef in the world next to Australia. There's so many different species here, you know? You put that live bait down, you never know what you're gonna get. You can only imagine with all that structure and all that reef down there that your bottom fishing here in the Keys has got to be incredible. Little guy. Good to see with not as many of them being around as there used to be, right? Yeah. Look at the purple, how pronounced it is on his back. I'm gonna let this guy go. 